Hello and welcome to Spirit of the Dice. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own Dungeons & Dragons Discord server. This isn't necessarily a step-by-step -step guide, this just shows you the essentials you need for your Discord server to function and to be fun to play in. The first thing you're going to do is scroll down to the bottom of your Discord list. Uh, if you're new to Discord, this will probably be empty. And click the plus, and then click on create new server. Give it a name, and maybe give it a little goofy profile pic thingy, and then you're ready to start. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a few categories. Uh, you go up there by clicking to the top and clicking on create category. Well, the way I have it set up on mine is I have game room 1 and game room 2. These are two separate areas where two different groups can be playing Dungeons and & Dragons and not have to worry about talking over each other because they're in completely different parts. You're then going to want to create a voice and a text chat for each so that each of them can roll dice, talk uh, over either voice or through text without bothering the other group and without getting lost in the list because they are in completely different categories. The next thing you're going to want to do is add the bot called Sidekick. This is the only bot that is absolutely necessary in my opinion uh, it's a dice rolling bot you just go to the website put it in below and it'll join your discord server you have to do a recapture test in order to put it on but once it's on you can roll dice with it you can uh, do pretty much anything with it uh, there's a few commands that aren't really that useful I feel like you can deal cards but I've never had to do anything like that so far I might have to later but the command is pretty simple it's slash R to roll then you put the first number being how many dice you want to roll for example like one the next thing you need to put is D for dice and then D20 or D4 or D45 uh, whatever number follows the D is the number of sides the dice has then you can put plus for a bonus for example like plus five and then you can put a hashtag in front of it and type something else like uh, spirit casts a spell and that'll be the action that'll be like the quote and then you just click enter and it should do it correctly the next thing you want to do is probably for posterity add me seeks and rhythm they aren't completely necessary for the server to function but they are good to have around uh, rhythm can play in music and you can turn the music up or down and you can uh, edit the playlist you can just loop one long track over and over again and it'll just play music in the background which can be good for atmosphere of the game and me6 is a bunch of technical tools for your server stuff like greeting new uh, entries into the server uh, saying bye to people that are leaving they you can has a lot of moderation tools that can make it really easy for moderators to keep everything in control especially if you have a large discord server with not very many mods and people are trolling you can set up keywords like the n-word or uh, other racial slurs or like homophobic slurs or really anything that you don't want people spamming uh, they can give them a warning, they can kick them, they can do pretty much uh, whatever a mod would be able to do if he was there. Time to set up rolls! Uh, you really only need three rolls. Of course, Meeseeks and Rhythm assign themselves rolls automatically upon joining. I usually give them a color so they stand out a bit better. Uh, obviously, Rhythm is red and Meeseeks is green. I mean, uh, blue. Uh, really, all you need is three rolls. Admin, mod, and user. You just can scroll through the permissions list, uh, assign whatever you feel comfortable with assigning to mods or users. D of course, give admin admin powers. That's the role you're going to want to assign yourself. The way you assign roles is by going to the member list and clicking on the little plus sign underneath their thing. That's how you add roles. Anyway, guys, uh, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, the reason this video is called how to make a Discord server in 10 minutes or less is because the raw footage of the, I recorded of this video of the whole process is 11.8 minutes and the audio is about 7.5 minutes long which is still under 10 minutes so I, I guess it counts and uh, yeah good luck to all of you who are going to be creating their Discord servers to play in the digital realm. I definitely think Discord is the best way to do it. Anyway, I've been Spirit of the Dice, and I will see you later, adventurers.